So people sometimes ask, what about a GUI or a graphical user interface to DOS? And well, FreeDOS is really meant to be a, a, a command line text-driven operating system, which is why all the videos I've had so far uh, have used the keyboard. But we actually do include uh, some graphical user interfaces for FreeDOS. I'm going to show one of them off today. It's the Ozone GUI. Uh, so let's go ahead and look at that. Uh, so here I have uh, the uh, directory for Ozone GUI. I've already, already installed it. Uh, if you do a directory, you can see it's pretty well organized in terms of how it uses its uh, folders. And so to run the program, uh, you just uh, run the program main. And so this is going to start up uh, Ozone. And so you get uh, sort of this plain desktop uh, that you can use to uh, launch programs up here in the menu. Uh, and so it's got just to kind of, I'm not going to run through everything that's in here, but just to kind of show you what's in the menus, the tools, uh, it's got, uh, well, there's an editor. Let's go ahead and look at that, uh, 03 pad. And so this is a, a sort of a basic text editor that you'd need for really for any kind of GUI to kind of capture notes. Uh, this is a, a basic text editor. Um, uh, maybe I, I am taking notes. And so uh, the ability to uh, kind of take notes for things, that's kind of how I use uh, sort of a notepad application, just kind of take notes like I'm on the phone of somebody, uh, something like that. Let's go ahead and exit out of that. Uh, and then uh, other programs you have, um, well, of course, a calculator. Uh, calculator is always a nice little tool to have for a graphical user interface. Uh, just to show you off some uh, 99. You can see it's putting the, the numbers up here. Uh, let's say divided by 3. That should be a very simple math of 33. There it is. Uh, clear that out. And let's do uh, 3.141. And um, let's go ahead and multiply that times... Uh, two. Uh, and actually there's a pi button over here. Let's let's see what the pi button gives me. Pi should give me a nice longer version of pi um, 3.141593. And uh, so anyway, simple tool, calculator, always a useful thing to have on your uh, system. Uh, other things, now I don't have any uh, music to listen to or music CDs, uh, otherwise I would go into the player. Uh, it's got a couple of games that you can play, uh, your standard snake game, uh, Minesweeper game, and a labyrinth game. Minesweeper game, just kind of show that off a little bit. Uh, so you get sort of the basic field, and you just click in these boxes. Um, it doesn't do the, you know, exposing everything at once. If you hit a blank spot, uh, it'll just show you a, a blank spot. So let's kind of click here and see if I'm lucky. So this is a, actually a zero, so we know that these three uh, don't have any mines in them. They continue to be empty, so I know that everything surrounding those are, are uh, don't have any mines in them. Here we have a one, and this means that this one or this one has a mine in it. This one tells me that it's uh, one of these bottom three, but of course it's going to be one of these two. This says zero, which really means that these are all not mines, and that tells me that's a mine over here. Right click on that, that marks it as a mine. Uh, I have a zero over here, which tells me that that's not a mine. We have a two, and so we have two mines over here. Oh, that doesn't quite make sense because we have a one over here, so I'm not quite sure what that's telling me. Um, but uh, anyways, I, I don't want to go too far um, on the rest of this. Uh, I don't want to spend all my time uh, working on uh, Minesweeper, but uh, there's your uh, Minesweeper game. Uh, some other things you can do in the uh, in the programs. Uh, we have a, uh, a simple uh, file manager, a uh, great way to kind of get around your system. You can see the nice icons for the different drives. Um, go into C, uh, you can see that uh, icons for files and executable programs in these different folders. Uh, which looks really nice. It's going to temp. What do I have in there? Uh, so these are some programs I'm looking to uh, uh, do a demo on maybe at some time later. Uh, so nice little uh, navigation. Uh, VC should only have probably one file on it. There we go. Uh, so this is just some uh, simple navigation with um, the, their file navigator. And uh, just to kind of show off one more thing in here. Uh, so we've looked at all the uh, several different things that they have under the programs. 
uh, but you can also uh, change how ozone looks and behaves. So you can go into the control panel here and you can uh, modify uh, these different aspects of the uh, uh, of the system. Let's go ahead and change the color because that's a nice obvious thing to do. So we'll go into wallpaper uh, and we'll go ahead and change the uh, background. So right now we're using this, this uh, nice pleasant green color. Let's go ahead and change it to something that's going to be obvious, which is sort of this sort of light blue. Uh, we'll kind of take that one right there. Uh, we'll click OK and then we just click apply to actually have that take effect. Right, so there we go. I've changed my wallpaper. Uh, let's go ahead and change it to a different color. I can change it to, let's go with this sort of darker purple. And apply. And so it's sort of a nice little, I'll call it a plum color. And just change the color one more time because I don't want to have plum as my background. Uh, I'll change it to, uh, let's, let's change it to sort of a dark red. I like kind of this stripe up here. That's maybe too dark. Let's go for this one. It's more of a maroon color. Uh, go ahead and take that and apply. Uh, and so anyway, you kind of get the point. It's all the different things you can do uh, under um, uh, under ozone to uh, uh, to use it as a nice little GUI. It's, uh, I, I think, a really well done uh, graphical user interface for FreeDOS. Let's go ahead and exit and um, go ahead and exit ozone. And there we go. So what did you think about uh, doing this uh, short little demo on a graphical user interface for FreeDOS? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Uh, also visit our website at FreeDOS.org. Join us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and consider supporting me on Patreon. Thank you.